Hey guys, Sibs on Tidy here, and on this episode of Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Old Door, we will head down. No, a thousand year door. Sorry, Mr. Grant. I'm just going to. Uh, if you don't know why I keep doing that, someone said in the comments, like, well, it was Grant. I don't want I, I don't want to alienate everyone. I'll put it to someone so everyone can feel like they're connected to this hypothetical commoner that doesn't actually exist. But they keep complaining that I say, uh, a uh, thousand year old door when it's just thousand year door. And it's a problem I had for the longest time. I think I even titled some of the earlier episodes in the series the wrong way, and I just can go down this pipe. I forgot. So yeah, that's why I say that at the end of, I mean, the beginning and end of every episode. It's it like sort of sounds pain for me to say because I wanna. My mind thinks thousand year old door, but I have to stop myself. So it's like thousand year door. And uh, well, that was a lot shorter than I remembered. Thank God for all the shortcuts and the bobbery stuff and the slipping through the uh, walls that we can just go do that. And is there something else we can grab? No, I think oh, the Pit of 100 Trials still has nothing we can grab over there. But let's go over with our new partner and see what she has to know that apparently she knows all this stuff already about it that I complain about every time we come here. Let's see where our newest adventure will take us. Oh, fancy, fancy town. It looks sort of like a, a capital building in the U.S. It's like all pillars and marble. It just looks very fancy, as the uh, Americans would say. And I, I think anyone says fancy. I think that's more of an English. God dang it, I'm trying to make a video. Who are you calling out to name us? Let's see what's up. All set? I, what? Who? Okay, no, I want to pick up the phone. Actually, no, that's probably someone actually calling, so I'm not going to pick up the phone because that would be really awkward. Just be like, hey guys, it's safe on title here. Is your mother home? No, it's safe on title. Okay, I'll stop babbling. Let's go see frankly what's going on. Quite frankly, I should probably start babbling. I mean, stop. I mean, uh, I need to shut up sometimes and just read text that's written for me. Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. That sounds like a very sophisticated place. I mean, it has posh in the name of it. I mean, come on, dude. Hang on, haven't I heard of lots of rich and famous people call that place home? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a, sh a shrine to the stars called the Poshly Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Huh, Poshly Heights? Uh, okay, how do we get there? That's the best part! Uh, how did I know he's gonna say that? You ride the most famous train of all! The Choo Choo Train? Thomas the Tank Engine? The little engine that could? Nope, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours! Getting this Crystal Star this has been backbreaking work, but this time it'll be a cinch! Will they let us on board? I heard you have to be rich and fa or famous, guys. Do I'm I'm Super Mario. Why do you not get this? Come on! I mean, we've been known for a while, but I'm I'm famous. I'm woohoo! That guy, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Piante. Oh, not the mobster again, whose voice I can't do. Are you kidding? Everyone says he's an awful man. Does he exhort extort people? Wow, that's some high-level vocabulary for an e-game. Well, I guess we don't have much choice, do we? Now let's do this quickly. Oh, yeah. Excellent! Then we're all set! We must have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle the year end of things. So now, time to head back to the mobster, and hopefully it's not as painful as it was last time, because that took like four episodes, and that that was that was probably the low point of this Let's Play, where I did nothing for two complete episodes when I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do with Don Piazza. But I'm pretty sure what we have to do for Don Piazza this time- Oh, check for the W emblem! Please have W emblem. Yeah, there we go. And I still have enough money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy this W emblem. And and it's a zero, another zero badge point thing because it looks also very lovely. You'll see. I stop complaining. I know. And I don't. Does he have a name? I'm gonna have to talk to him after I get my W emblem on. Change Mario clothes in the Warriors clothes. So basically, when you put this on and it does a little lag when you put it on. 
You're gear turned yellow and now you're old Wario. You're yellow and purple. And let's see if he has a name. Thank you so very much. You got yourself a good deal. I could you not anything? No, it doesn't seem like this guy has a name. Maybe he has a name the first time you talk to him when he come on screen, but eh, it really doesn't matter. It's probably one of those guys who has an official name, but it really doesn't matter. Like Boom Boom or uh, Big Bertha from uh, Super Mario 3 or any of the other new Super Mario bros. And another very nice thing is we don't have to deal with the thing lady. And do we have any life rooms? And I probably can't even afford it with all that money I've spent. We have one. Okay, we don't need the double stack up. Because last time I had two life rooms, we ended up wasting them. Even though in that situation, I probably... Yeah, I think because I... No, we died at the same time, so it would have revived me first. Anyway, let's talk to Mr. I can't... Oh, no, what's wrong? What happened to his desk? Or does he have, like, the coolest desk ever that converts into a bed? What's up with this dude? I just want to talk. Come on, there we go. Hey, if it ain't the guys from before, you need to meet with the boss once again, eh? Normally we could, but you know, to help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. Johnny Pajamas. Mr. Pajamas. Mr. Pajamas. Hello, I saw the text box earlier. Zerg, Francesca. Ah, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about our super arms, huh? What can we do for use? <laughs> use. <laughs> Take it for the richest train around for the Express Express? Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that wrong wing ding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, giving us tickets out? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca, I mean, Francesca, that's so much more Italian. I just can't see the boss like this. If we just knew where those newlyheads was, we could take the boss to see them. You mean those Piantas, Frank, Piantas, Frankie and Francesca, they're on Key Hockey? Keel Hockey. Who's that with the what say? What you say now? Repeat that. You know where young Miss Pianta at? Really? No lie. I, my voice is just getting worse and worse. I should just probably read it. Nope! I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti, so help me. Yeah. Well, he said it on me. If he, if we, if we're going down and kill the little Yoshi dude, I don't even know him. He's like two years old anyway. You know, I don't, I don't even care. Well, that's where she is. Why don't you bring her back, pal? Huh? Be a pal. We got ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected. You get me? Yeah. You bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. We gotta deal what? Take a hike, bub! Uh, I have a feeling if I say that, I'll have to go for, through a lot more text again. But I'll do it anyway. Wow, what did you say? I thought we were like family. This is how you dream, family? It would be real sad to see something real bad happen to you guys. Real sad. I understand. See, now that's better. What? Oh, you can't say anything. I knew you understood our predicament. You couldn't refuse. Now, don't screw this up. So, in a case of... Really, eh, it's not that bad backtracking. We have to backtrack all the way back to Key Hockey. And no, this is where the shine thread is. You can't cut through here and just get back to the hallway easier. But, uh, uh do we need to show anything or can I cut right to Key, key Hall Key? Yeah, I think I can cut to Key Hall Key unless Cortez says something really funny when we leave from the dock. I went to everything. Oh, let's play the ladder. I've never won this. <gasps> no, something unlucky is happening. Not at all. What happened? I see that's happened and that is a very unhappy thing. There's been a foul play in the Happy Lucky Lottery. The clock was tampered with. <gasps> no! It makes me unhappy to ask about this and all, but I'm afraid I have to. So please, just answer me honestly. Did you tamper with the clock? Uh, did my Wii's clock get... Oh, yeah, because I unplugged the battery a while ago, the clock is completely screwed up. It's like four years and like a couple months off. Don't be ridiculous. Happy Lucky Lottie is only happy and lucky because the players are happy and lucky. He looks so distraught. Look at that Bob. He's so sad. And they don't ever cheat. I mean, changing the clock. I can't even. Do you really didn't No, it wasn't me. I swear. I had a little tool that, that she couldn't play today. And she burst into tears. It just breaks my heart. Oh, my God. I didn't do it. <laughs> no way, man. Really? You did it. Just tell me the truth. I'll forgive you. I swear I did it. <laughs> okay. Let's just call this one a mistake then. But I didn't know how it could have happened. Bum, how unlucky and unhappy. To get it going in, everyone have to buy the numbers for 500 coins. Oh, Jesus Christ! I didn't reset it on purpose! Oh, Jesus, that's so 
uh, that's really good writing, and that's really good, like, hey, you want to mess with the clock and try the cheat? Because you get a new lottery ticket, I think, every new day, so if you set the clock ahead, it would do that. So, I guess that's, that's really, a really good way to do that, and that's some awesome writing. That, that was really good guilt tripping. Ah, uh, poor kids, teaching them not the treat. Good on you, Nintendo. Looks like the people really settled in the Keel Hall Key. They got this whole dock built. Oh, and let's go whack, whack a, whack a bum, whatever. Let's whack him on his head again. Hey, hey, buddy. Best item in the game, thank you. Whack a, ow, don't hit me. Thank you. That is, that is by far the best item in the game, especially because every time we come back here, we can just pick up another one, and I'll probably never use them anyway, but still, that's awesome to have. So let's see where Francesca and Frankie are. Uh, you have any idea? The Piantas? I think they're off in the jungle. They're probably smooching or something. Oh man, I am jealous. I am too. I am too. All I've got is this little thing. Oh wait, nope. Never mind. Give me a sec. Oh yeah, now you're gonna be jealous of me. Very jealous. I have all the ladies. You be hating. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the forest and stop yelling like a freak. Oh, I have three of the ladies now. I am, dude. I'm pimping. Straight up pimping. Super. Oh well, actually, I. It, yeah, it's definitely the warrior suit. Warrior straight up pimping. You know that. Everyone knows about Wario. Oh, it looks like we didn't have to travel that far, not even another screen. What's up with you guys? How you doing? Oh, hey, it's Mario. Have you been, dear pal? That, that's that's a weird... I guess that's supposed to be with their accent. Dear? It, that's not even... I, okay, stop. We Something for you to do. What's up? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this. What's wrong? You see, I... I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. You stupid little bro. Okay, no, I, I, I'm done calling people stupid broads after that uh, little Zelda mess mishap. We, we never need to speak of that again. That never happened. I did great on that boss fight. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Is that... Oh, okay, the broad thing is slowly coming back. Maybe. Of course I love you. My little bacon bur... Oh, bacon. How cute. None of your sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred... Oh, no, not this. A <laughs> hundred times. Challenge accepted. Get ready for your thumbs to hurt. If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you crazy dame. I'm gonna try it. I love you. 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 Ten times. Oh, oh yeah, it starts to count. I love you. 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 I 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 love you. What song is that from? I love you. 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 I'm literally hitting the buttons right now. It's not going automatically. You have to do this all by yourself. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh no, I think I missed a couple. We need to go back a little bit. I love you. Okay, that that's some pretty good text. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I love you. <gasps> there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. <laughs> now, my little cream pop, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Wow, you think these guys are going to be all right looking for that thing on their own? Listen, Mario, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? So, oh, please don't tell me I forget that, but I just, I love that scene. That's just another, I really love the writing for this game. It's so great. They, they, Nintendo games have very underrated stories. I mean, that, that's just really cute. And how they, it's actually a hundred times. I mean, it's a little tedious and it might, you might consider annoying that you have to bun all, hit the bun all those times, but it, it's comedic effects. Sometimes you have to draw it out. And I believe we have to have all, head all the way back to the skull rocks and we're going to head by enemies. So I think I'll just cut over to when we get over over there unless there's some very interesting fight that I have to show off so I believe they said they'd be somewhere in this area so let's check some of these bush oh there it is wedding ring a pricey ring the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love and guess what we have to do now actually no it's not really that bad I'm not gonna complain we have to walk all the way back I'm, it's not gonna be like I walked all the way back oh it's just walking back it's not that bad with uh Gary it's, it's really short actually but I'm gonna cut it anyway so you guys don't get bored and we can keep the length of the episode down but up 
ba 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 Hey, you two little lovebirds! Here you go! Ah! That's it! That's my ring! You found it! Now I assumed it was another wedding ring dropped on this uninhabitable island. Frankie! Now we can go home to Daddy! We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Oh, she's the cheese and the cracker. Mm-hmm, girl. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry, please. So I believe that's it for all of the side quests that we just need to bring back so we can start the next chapter. I really hope that's it, but I have a feeling nothing's ever that easy in Paper Mario. So let's head back down to the dock and set sail. Hopefully these two lovebirds won't be any more of a hassle. Even though that really wasn't that bad, I just had to walk a little bit, grab a ring, and walk back. Except for the whole button bashing, met, met, little mashing, and I almost, I almost did it twice. I almost just went straight in with Gary. Hey, you guys ready to go with the giant floating skull head? Oh, look, I love, I, I forgot to show this, that, say something. I love how their wedding bands, like, cover the entire hand. It's just like, not a ring, they, I mean, they don't have fingers besides their thumbs to put it on, but it's just their entire hand is one big ring for it. That, that's another great thing I love about this game. It's so funny. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready to go, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to the report. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. Let's go, giant floating sky skull head. I cannot say words. Return to Roport, amigo. Bueno, we are off. Kiss off me, amigos. To Roport. Por cua. Wait, port. No, it's Port K. Port K is Y, and then Port. It, it's Spanish. Port K, I think, separated is because, and Port K together is Y. So you can just have another conversation complete with just Port K and Port K. It could be like Port K, Port K, Port K. Why is someone calling? Port K. I mean, Port K. Someone calling. I'm not very good at Spanish, you can tell. So now we're back right outside uh, Francesca and Frankie's dad's home, which I forget his name already. Don Bianca! Daddy, 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 wake up, open your eyes, it's Christmas! Boss! He is, he is pretty much a boss, except his purple nose. I, I don't know how that happened, that doesn't look healthy. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's bad, he's only speaking in Morse code. And he also doesn't know how to do any dashes, so it's very hard to communicate what he's saying. Fran... Francesca? Daddy! It's Christmas! Boss! Oh my little Francesca, you came back... <laughs> he's not a sassy black woman. You came back for me, and now you, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped in everything and rushed back. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want you to uh, stay here with me. I can't bear away f to be away from you, crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so ever selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks even even Don Pianta, the dawn of ultimate untimely death, can't escape the old age. The de time has come for everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, boss! No, boss! Daddy! No, it's time. I mean it. I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Syndicate Piantas. Didn't screw that up totally. What? But, boss, you still gotta... You're spring chicken. You gotta do this. And I mean me, boss? No, you the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate, the way I did. BOSS! You, Mario, it looks like you've done yet enough favor for me, kid. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kinda promised him something, boss. We told him we get him a ticket for the excess, excess uh, express. It's not that kind of train, don't you think? Or maybe it is. Mm -hmm. If he brought your daughter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come over here, Mario. How, how many you want? One, two, three, hit ten. Help yourself. Well, I guess we have. Apparently, we can get on with just one. I guess our partner can kind of like hide inside of us, just like when we do that little uh, rolly thingy. But there's our train ticket. A lot easier to get. How about you come back anytime you like? How about that? Jeez, I guess he's a changed man. Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna go get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that. You, the boss. 
You good now? You good now, Frankie? <laughs> and that's your new desk. It's just a bed. You don't get a desk. You just get a bed. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Oh, nah, I think it's more like her, like, kidding around, like, I'll keep you in line. Mm -hmm. Sweet Bean, come on! Knock it off with the pet name nonsense. Call me Francesca. Huh? Fra fa 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 fra Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. <laughs> I can do that way too well. It's kind of creepy. Underboss. Uh, or, I mean, boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so very much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a bro brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Oh, thanks, thanks. I really like your approval. If you ever think about joining up with the syndicate, it's the life, kid. I ain't about that thug life, though. Your clan sucks. I'm part of the Mario crew. I'm the first member of the Mario crew. M.A. Mario Brothers. Okay. But I think before we end off the episode, uh, we should try going and get on that train. I believe that will... Well, we'll see when we get there. Yes, yes, yes. Now we can go to the Posh Lights. Yes. That's exclusive stars. As good as ours. I heard that, my uglies. Oh, no. Oh, no. So the six crystal stars in Pasha's Heights, is it? That's rather next piece of information. Thanks, FSO! Beldum! Hey, you're that Beldum! Thank you, I just identified that, but thank you for repeating me. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that alone, it might be unwise, so live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Pasha's Heights and get that crystal star before you do! Mehehe! <laughs> Whoa, that sounded bad. We gotta get the postulates before that wish. Let's make the tracks for Roadport Station. Let's go! We can't end the episode off, 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 and not go to the station. I mean, she's gonna beat us because this game happens in completely real time. Obviously, and I should probably save. Nah, I don't need no emails. I don't need to check it. Just actually, no, I do need to save, but I need some emails. I need to be checking those things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? No, you don't know. What I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. I hardly ever know what I'm saying. This train is bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes, sirree. Wonderful. If you don't mind, at least allow me to check your ticket. It's almost the size of my head. Watch your step, please. All aboard! Thank you. All aboard! Chapter six. Three days of excess. Next time on Let's Play Paper Mario.